Welcome back, fans and friends, for this upcoming video. Break off from the usual M2s and green lights and everything else. And we're going to do today a matchbox. And so this one here is the Bitsarini 5300 GT Corsa, but this is the revival. So they renewed building these vehicles in 2022. Uh, this is matchbox moving parts series. So you can see there, FWD28. And thankfully, we will be getting the opening engine instead of the doors. Uh, it is a V8. They say it's front to mid engine, but it looks to me just like... You can see it's some distance from the front, but I mean... It's not quite as mid engine as some other cars are. And a lot of this, uh, we already know Matchbox does use a lot of uh, recycled materials, but that is some sort of a seal. Confirming it, both for the cardboard and the metal inside the toy. Ages 3 plus from Mattel and we see all the safety stuff on the bottom and there we have it so for the plastic uh, which I believe will just be the parts representing the windshield and the wheels because most of this is actually just cardboard and metal Anyway, we see it's brand new, and that's obvious because I've actually never seen this car uh, previously. And so once again, they're focusing on the recycling. I'm just thinking, yeah, I think that's a Dodge Challenger there, or perhaps a Ford Mustang or Camaro, or something that they've used to represent. It's not the car in this video. There we go, it's an officially licensed product. They do, I believe, hand assemble all their vehicles. Uh, in the original run, I think for four years, they only built like 168 or 170. So they are extremely rare. Uh, Italian supercar, definitely sports car. We do get a rather unique, actually. Uh, once you pull it out, there is in fact very You have this, it feels like styrofoam, but unfortunately it uh, is entirely brand new. I've actually never seen it handed out in a packaging like this. Uh, definitely you could put it back in, although once you've destroyed it, taken it out of that, it is probably very questionable. Okay, so here we have the car. The front, you can see the engine deck, the hood. Drivers on the left side, wipers indented into the plastic windshield, nice and easy to see through. Uh, that is not a defect, it is just the top. Oh, it looks like a defect. But it might just be the fittings of the car. Uh, it do, they do look like they're extensions, so those are not defects. So there we go to the front, we have 3D painted lights, no inserts, there's the Bizzarini icon right there and they do advertise the minimalist grill as you can see there looking from the front it is absolutely tiny uh, rear lights sorry under lights not painted on to the left side we do not get ruby mirrors just saying and this number three if you go to their website the cars in fact laid out exactly like this except for the ruby mirrors obviously and it's much bigger uh, with the number three pool ball and red coloration uh, makes it look extremely similar to uh, certain Ferraris of the era. I believe they were a design firm for that. Wheels are all plastic. There's no rubber. I don't think that they are two-piece. I think they're just, yeah, one piece, obviously. Brake air loops, we can see there a little bit. It looks like a roll cage, two-piece window. Uh, a plastic on top of a plastic underneath. And onto the back, like what I was saying, it's nice and easy to see into the thing, into the rear deck of the vehicle, and they have these two pieces. Uh, it is molded that way. I believe it's intentional. This side is the same as on that side, and it just has the fitting up there. It is not a huge chip. Brake lights painted nice and evenly, four exhausts, and the number three. And you have their Bizzarini. I didn't remember seeing 5300 at all. I mean, you're going to know it's that because how, how much you probably paid for the car. 
And right side is pretty much the same as left side. I did not see a gas cap, but I do believe... I don't remember where I saw it in the pictures. It's not on the right side. Usually, I, I prefer if you're going to drive a car, it's on the same side as where you drive. But uh, I don't see it here. Anyway, onto the bottom. Just quick, you see there, 2023. Uh, the Bitzerini 5300 GT Corsa Revival. Made in Thailand. 2023 Mattel. There's your production code and number. And the basic Mattel. You can see there the transfer case. There will be where the engine is. Uh, no drive shaft. There's the exhaust. So there we have it. And the final thing for this, exactly like the Corvette, or the Corvette's doing exactly like this. There you have the engine. Rather plain. And it does look like it's poorly painted, but uh, I mean, it's better than getting absolutely nothing, uh, especially with how expensive these things are getting. Anyway, fans and friends, the Mattel Pizzerini 5300 GT Corsa from Matchbox, their moving parts series. Not quite as expensive as their collector's edition, which may or may not actually have any moving parts, so I think it's of less value. You can technically put everything back in together if you wish sort of like an m2 although it's not as displayable as an m2 uh it certainly cost almost as much as an m2 and then you just package everything in like that but because of the way i destroy the box it'll always do that anyway thanks for watching this video this is thomas from toronto and until the next one